Hey there, 3D printing enthusiasts! Ready to dive into the world of vibrant, multicolored 3D prints? In this video, we're breaking down the top 5 multicolor 3D printers of 2024. We'll explore their features, performance, and pricing to help you choose the perfect machine for your creative projects. Hit the subscribe button, give a thumbs up or down, and comment about which one is best for you. Okay, let's get started. Number 1. Bamboo Lab P1S with AMS. This is a groundbreaking device that has introduced many users to the world of multicolor printing. Designed in a compact shoebox sized unit, it can easily sit atop or beside your Bamboo Lab P1S, X1 Carbon, or P1P. The P1S, in particular, excels at color 3D printing, thanks to its enclosure that allows for the use of high temperature filaments like ASA and ABS. The AMS, automatic material system, arrives fully assembled, requiring only a few wires and tubes to get started. You can daisy chain up to four AMS units to achieve a stunning 16 color print. While the system is user-friendly initially, maintenance can be tricky due to the tight bends in the tubing and the wear that occurs from the filament's back and forth motion. I experienced a hole in one Bowden tube within six months, particularly when using glitter and other abrasive materials. Additionally, Bamboo Lab's method of cutting filament at the cold part of the tool head creates some waste, affectionately known as printer poop. This waste can be reduced through slicer tuning but not completely eliminated. Many users find this trade-off acceptable for the convenience of vibrant, colorful prints. Number 2. Bamboo Lab A1 Mini with AMS Light. This is specifically designed for the A1 and A1 Mini bed slingers. It's my favorite among all the multicolor devices I've tested thanks to its user-friendly interface, low maintenance needs, and consistent performance. Although its unique design is intended to sit on the right side of the printer, Bamboo Lab also provides a printable clip for mounting the AMS unit on the gantry of the full-sized A1. The AMS Lite automatic material system arrives mostly assembled, requiring only a few components to be fitted together. You simply plug in one cable to the printer, and connect four tubes to guide the filament to the tool head. Unlike the original AMS, the light cannot be daisy-chained and is not compatible with Core XY machines. Maintenance is straightforward since everything is easily accessible. The spools are mounted from the center cores, allowing the AMS light to accommodate more third-party filaments, including cardboard spools. However, some brands may have center holes that are not the right size and won't fit. Like other Bamboo Lab AMS units, the light reads an RFID tag on each spool to identify the material type and color in the slicer. Number 3. Prusa MK4 with MMU3. This is a modification designed for the Prusa MK4, MK4S, and MK3S Plus printers. This advanced upgrade requires a solid understanding of 3D printing and involves permanent modifications to the tool head, along with a significant amount of table space. If you're ready for the challenge, the MMU3 can handle up to five spools of any size with impressive precision. Prusa Research engineered the MMU3 to rapidly retract filament from the nozzle, minimizing waste to just a tunable purge tower on the print bed's rear corner. During my testing with the MK4, the MMU3 produced remarkably clean prints, though it did experience a few feeding errors and worked best with fresh, dry filament. The adjustable spool holders accommodate various spool sizes, including plastic and cardboard types. Loading the MMU requires manual feeding through the buffer to the printer, which can be tedious. Overall, the MMU3 occupies about 23 additional inches of tabletop space, featuring a complex setup with a bulk on the printer's gantry and a buffer cartridge on the side. This DIY upgrade requires printing parts and modifying tool head sensors for attachment. Number 4. Prusa XL. This is a 3D printer specifically designed for multicolor and multi-material printing. As a core XY tool changer, it features a unique system where each filament has its own Houghton and nozzle. This design eliminates the need to clear nozzles between color changes, allowing for individual temperature settings for each tool head, making it ideal for mixing materials like PLA and TPU or printing in PLA with PETG as a non-stick support. Available with one, two, or five tool heads, expandable up to five. The Prusa XL has a sizable 360 by 360 build plate, 
retailing for $3,999 with five tool heads. However, loading filament can be cumbersome, as each tool head requires nearly five feet of Bowden tube from the spool holder to the nozzle. While the direct drive system necessitates manual feeding, it allows for shorter overall print times compared to some competitors, as there's no need to re-spool filament between color changes. The printer supports any spool size up to 2 kilograms and accommodates third-party filaments, although TPU may require extra effort during loading. Number 5. Any Cubic Cobra 3 with Ace. This is the first clone of the Bamboo Lab system, designed specifically for the Cobra 3 3D printer, which features a similar tool head. This boxy multi-material handler functions as both a filament dryer and a material handler, capable of drying filament while the printer is on or off. While the ACE can be purchased separately, its current compatibility is limited to the Cobra 3, a fast bed slinger that uses a hub to connect up to four Bowden tubes from the ACE. Similar to the Prusa Research MMU, the ACE allows each filament spool to have a dedicated path to the extruder, requiring only a brief retraction before color swaps. One drawback of the ACE system is the lack of filament tuning options in the slicer. The Cobra 3 utilizes a cutter to separate filament at the cold part of the tool head leading to some waste, affectionately termed, printer poop. Users will eventually be able to connect two ACE units to a single Cobra 3. While it can dry TPU, the ACE cannot feed it through the system, necessitating a separate spool holder for that material. So, which is the best multicolor 3D printer of 2024? It really depends on your specific needs and budget. However, if we had to choose one, we'd go with the Bamboo Lab P1S with AMS, it offers incredible print quality, a large build volume, and a user-friendly interface. If you're looking for a more affordable option, the Prusa MK4 with MMU3 is a great choice. It's a reliable and versatile printer that can handle a wide range of materials. Remember, the best printer for you is the one that fits your specific needs and budget. Thanks for watching, and happy printing!